When writing functions in R, we'll often provide a series of arguments for the user of the function. Now with R, there's a nice feature that you don't actually have to make use of all of the function arguments. And also you can specify default values for particular function arguments. Now there may be some situations where, for example, an argument has to be positive or some other condition. And what we can do is we can make use of control structures such as the if statement to check whether a particular condition has been satisfied for a particular function argument. At that point, we can also make use of either the stop or warning function and these allow us to either to stop the execution of a function and submit a message or to allow the function to continue with the, a warning printed at the end. It really depends how serious the consequences of a particular condition not being satisfied. So if we're going to extend the simple function for calculating the volume of a cylinder. So the function itself is very straightforward. We've got the height and radius that can be specified by the user and these are combined to calculate the volume of the cylinder. Now what we might want to do is to ensure that the user has to specify both the height and the radius. So what we can do is there's a function called missing which returns a true if a value has been set or false if it hasn't been set. And we can combine this with the stop function to stop our cylinder calculation function if either the height or radius hasn't been specified. So our new version of the function has got a couple of statements here. So we've got if missing height. So if this is um, true, so that the height is missing, then we run this code here. So stop. The function calculation will stop and we'll print out this message here so that the user knows they have to specify the height of the cylinder for the calculations to be made. Similarly, the code for missing radius is put down here, and it's very straightforward to be able to um, create that simple check. So what we can do is if we run the function here by specifying a height of seven units, then we get the message coming back in, error in cylinder volume two, we need to specify radius of cylinder for calculation, and similarly, if we submit the function just specifying the radius, we're now told that we need to specify the height of the cylinder. Now we can extend this function further by adding a couple more checks on the height and the radius, as we'd expect both of these values to be positive. So we've got another pair of if statements here where we're checking whether the variable height is less than zero, and if it is, then we return this message here negative height specified and if radius is less than zero we have negative radius specified because we've already checked whether these variables are missing and stopped if they are this condition will actually have a value to test against zero so if we run an example with a positive height of 10 units and a negative radius of minus 4 units then we get an error message coming back here negative radius specified and this is because we failed the fourth condition here in our function.